Hello, Internet. So there's a couple questions that someone sent or sent me. Uh, they're called Just Me. And I'm just going to read them real quick um, in their comment. Do you believe in God as he portrayed, as he is portrayed in the Bible, or do you have your own definition of God? Do you take the scientific approach to it, like scientists who say that God is merely energy that created all and is all? Um, and I guess even prior to that, those questions, they preface the whole thing saying, I've always wanted to talk to a typical, as in going to church, etc., religious philosopher. Thanks, I guess. Um, I'm going... I'm just going to assume that you have philosophical tendencies since you're an INTP. Sorry if you if I'm wrong about that. M emoji. <laughs> um, what their outlook on existence looks like and how typical religion plays into that. Maybe you'll see this somehow. That would be great. Oh, the comment. Well, of course, I see your comment. So these are a lot of questions, quite a loaded question. So I'm going to go back to the first one. Do you believe in God as he is portrayed in the Bible or do you have your own definition of God? Well, okay. So to begin that, do you have, do you hold on to your own definition of somebody when you first look at them? Or when you first meet somebody, anybody, do you hold on to a, to the initial definition that your, yourself has created before you meet them? Not, I mean, we do that and it's always kind of misunderstood. And then when, sometimes like when you think, oh wow, this guy's a jerk. It was, it was one time actually just recently, um, I met or I saw somebody and he resembled real closely to somebody that I really didn't <laughs> didn't like and so I held on to my own definition of him at first and thought he was not I didn't think he was a terrible person but there were some there's a tendency to put him in that same sphere um, and so in knowing that I actually forced myself to get to know this person and eventually we went out to coffee and him and I had a great conversation actually he we both um, are interested in stories and he actually knows really well about st like the story development and he was a completely different person of, than what I first saw him as so to say that so to go on what, I, what I'm meaning about that is our own definition is very dangerous of anything um, it is important and imperative that the individual expresses themselves and that you um, hold on to that definition, not how we interpret what we recognize by our own limited understanding. And so, to this question, do you believe in God as you portrayed in the Bible, or do you have your own definition of God? To have my own definition, especially to something as, as important as God, would be a terrible bias and a waste of time in life. <laughs> like, um, to go on along and it's, it's it's confirmation bias if you're going to create your own concept of deity in your mind and then going on in life with with this reassuring concept that justifies your position in anything that's dangerous that's very dangerous and so I would say that I do hold to um, how God reveals himself through the through the Bible and, and then the Bible also can be taken as it is, since it's, it was created over 1500 years, like written wise, but it also, but it spans more time than just those 1500 years. And 40 different authors, different countries that these authors have been in writing. And so what would, what would it be like is like these authors are writing what's happening in their sphere, in their life. That's what's happening. But threaded through all of these different events is the same God that interacts with them. Um, this consistent God that, but that reveals new characteristics, characteristics and attributes about himself. Um, so maybe that's kind of maybe a different way to look at it where um, God reveals himself to these people that are in different countries, um, in different stages of life, in different eras, um, and all these people who are writing in their in their era reflect back to this same deity that these other patriarchs or older people or newer people have all encountered um, and so yes I would say that the uh, it, how the Bible portrays God is how um, I would hold to it because it's it's something outside of my mind and it challenges me and how I perceive the world rather than 
trying to look for confirmation bias and leaning on my own limited understanding of how things operate and and then conjuring up my own concept of God especially yeah especially to like <laughs> um, deity ties closely into like how you view people how you view the world how you live your life how if, if there's eternity or not and what does that mean and and so I think it's very dangerous to feel comfortable to create what you feel like God should be what well, this is what I feel like when I look this in this way and that way and this is what makes sense I just I think that's that's not very wise um, and to your second question, do you take the scientific approach to it, like scientists who say that God is merely energy that created all and is all? I really hate the scientific divide between, like, like a, I guess a religious outlook, um, because I, like, I'm not, it's like if you're religious, you're automatically against science or something like that, and that's just silly. Um, like, and even the definition of science is so like thrown all over the place like you know medicines that's science but then there's also simple observation and we all do that so we all experience a, a mode of science in a way um and like do i take a scientific approach to it i mean sure whatever that really means um i would say that scientists have recognized certain elements of of god that holds everything together because like everything has potential energy in it everything's stored up with energy and so I guess kind of something to think about is like, what's keeping this table from simply releasing its energy? What's, what's, <laughs> what's holding my body together to keep it from just releasing its energy? Um, so all, everything is stored up with, with this potential energy and at the very core of it, and I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to pretend to, like I fully understand all this, but there's like, that there's this thing that kind of holds everything together. And if that were to be released, then the energy will just <laughs> um, explode, basically. <clears throat> and so, kind of goes with what you're saying in your comment, like um, like scientists who say that God is merely energy. Well, I would say they 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 are recognizing an attribute that's holding everything together, <clears throat> that created all and is all. I wouldn't say is all, but is held by, I guess. Um, and I guess I, I, I guess I don't fully understand the question. Do you take a scientific approach to it, like scientists who say that God is merely energy? And I guess I try to answer it, since you try to clarify it there, um, because there's just a lot of different <clears throat> ways to go about it, and I don't want to um, go too long in this video. So, anyway, um, hopefully that answers your questions. Um, if anybody who who's out there, INTP or not, um, what are your answers to these questions? What do you think? Um, what do you think about God in general? What do you think about other religions? Like, I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. Merry Christmas, but it's not Christmas yet. So, uh, yeah.